Hi, I'm Gian Angelo Carrier. This is my moment. Today, we will discuss about oblique triangles. First, what are oblique triangles? An oblique triangle is a triangle which does not contain a right triangle. It is either acute if all the angles are between 0 and 90 degrees, or obtuse if an angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Here are examples of oblique triangles. How to solve an oblique triangle? There are about three ways how to solve the unknowns of a triangle. These are the law of sine, the law of cosine, and the law of tangent. But first, let us take on the law of sine. The law of sine states that, in any triangle, the sides are proportional to the sines of the opposite angles. If we have triangle ABC, then the formula would look like this. Or this. Let us apply this on a problem. You are given angle A, angle C, and side C. To solve the triangle, you have to determine the unknown sides and the third angle. Let us start with the easiest. Let us find the third angle. We all know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Given this, we will derive that formula to form this. To get the third angle, simply follow this equation. Let us move on in solving the sides using the law of sine. To solve for side A, there are two possible equations. You can use this equation or this equation. For the sake of this problem, it's easier to use this equation. Keeping the needed answer on the numerator is easier because all you have to do to derive the equation is by multiplying the denominator of the first equation to the numerator of the second equation. Now, let's solve this. In solving side B, we apply the same method as side A. Now we're done for this example. You might ask, why not use angle B and side B? Actually, you can. But for the purpose of this example, we used side C and angle C instead. Let's try another example. You have been given angle A, side B, and side A. To solve this triangle, you have to determine the third side and the unknown angles. Let's proceed in solving angle B. We will still use the law of sines, but this time, we will use this equation. Always remember to use the equation that uses the unknown as the numerator for easier solving. Deriving the equation, we will have this solution. Now we have angle B. So let's move on to angle C. To solve this, we will use this easy equation. Solving the equation, we will acquire this answer. To solve side C, we use this equation. Deriving it, we will get... Now, let's solve it. Now you have side C. But we're not done yet. There's still this ambiguous feeling. Ambiguous 
trust me, this will be easy. When you're given an angle with an adjacent side and an opposite side, it might be an ambiguous case. So it means it has two possible triangles. For example, this triangle. We do not know whether this is the valid triangle or this one. So, we solve for the two triangles. How to determine if the given is an ambiguous case? There are four conditions. First, if the given is an angle with an adjacent side and an opposite side. Second, if the angle given is acute. Third, if the opposite side is shorter than the adjacent side. And fourth, if the opposite side is greater than the adjacent side multiplied by the sine of the given angle. Let us now apply it on a problem. But first, let us have some exercises on how to determine ambiguous cases. Here are four cases. One is an ambiguous case. Can you determine which one? Pause the video and apply the four conditions on each one. Play the video if you are ready to know the answer. Pause the video now. So here are the answers. Case 1 is not ambiguous because the angle is obtuse. Case 2 is also not ambiguous because side A is less than side B multiplied by side A. Case 3 is not ambiguous because side A is greater than side B. So, our ambiguous case is case 4. Let's go solve it. Since the given is angle A, side A, and side B, we will solve for angle B, angle C, and side C. For the second possible triangle, we will solve for angle B1, angle C1, and side C1. First, let us solve angle B. To solve this, you will use this law of sine equation. So, here's the solution. Now you have angle B. To solve for angle B1, simply subtract angle B to 180 degrees. Proceed to angle C. To solve this angle, simply use this equation. Now we have angle C. To solve for angle C1, use this equation. Now let us move on to solving side C. To solve side C, you need to use the law of sine. Now you have your side C. To solve for side C1, use the same equation for side C, except replace angle C with angle C1. So you will have the solution. That's the end of the example. This concludes this tutorial for solving oblique triangles using the law of sine. Rest a while as we move on and proceed to the law of cosine.